Hello, my name is Rachel and I love chain and scale mail. And as you guys know, because I've been talking about it nonstop, <laughs> I am vending at Dark Side of the Con, which is April 1st through 3rd. And I'm gonna try and get this video up the like before I actually leave for the for the convention. Uh, so that would be sometime next week because it's only <laughs> the convention is just next week <laughs> like today is what is today today's like thursday so i'm actually leaving next thursday for new jersey so i'm one week away from when i have to get on the road but i just thought i would do a quick video and share with you guys the sort of things that i take for my vending dates because i way overpack. i take too much stuff i'm not very organized i don't tend to make a like <laughs> a lot of the same things i make a lot of different things i i don't I don't duplicate a lot of stuff, if that makes sense. Like, I don't make like 10 of the same type of necklace very often. I, I do have some, um, they're like 20-sided uh, dice that are wrapped, but there's really no way you can do those more individually. But I do have a bunch of those, but, but you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't have like 10 products that I just make a bunch of in different colors. I'm all over the place. <laughs> so I, I just wanted to share with you the types of things that I'm taking with me and it's it, it's so much i have it spread out all over the place here i'm mostly packed and ready to go oh you guys always see this rack in the back of my uh you know when i'm doing my videos the rack's always here i used to have it set up completely like i would when i was out vending but i i condensed it so i'd have more room in the room but of course i'll take the rack it folds out into four of these pieces so that'll fit behind my six foot table and then have all of the, of, um, my scale mail tops and skirts. So the more clothing type pieces will all be on that. And this is like an example. I have it's got the shoulder pieces. This is a matching set, shoulder pieces, bra, skirt. I sell each piece individually. Each piece can run anywhere from $130 to $200, depending. Um, this one, I actually have a lot of these scales are covered in a faux leather vinyl to give it a, a leather and metal look. And then, of course, we have men's stuff. I have, I do scale mail ties. And this is just like a one shoulder armor, but I also have a men's two shoulder armor. I only made one of them though. Um, I really need to work on making more men's stuff. I have this entire bin over here. I don't know if you can, you guys can see that from, but it's this, it's not, it's not one of the big bins. It's a, like a half bin, but still the whole thing is entirely full of halter top shoulder pieces and skirts just to give you an idea of how many I have I couldn't fit any more in there so I had to leave some of my mannequins dressed <laughs> so you can see I have like this nice little gold set with a body chain and a skirt and like I said all these pieces do sell separately and here is another of these silver and black pieces and this is a like a chain mail like this is scale mail and then this is a chain mail little shoulder arm piece get the gist of that there another one of those arm pieces but this is a actual chain mail top with a little chain mail belt i haven't made just chain mail tops in a really long time like once i started making the scale mail tops i just kept making scale mail tops and i really need to revisit and start making more chain mail tops as well uh i just the, the two years of isolation in the pandemic i just I lost all my creativity and I just made almost nothing in those two years. I still made a few pieces here and there, but nowhere near the productivity I had been going before the pandemic started. I don't know what happened. Suddenly I was not leaving home and had all the time in the world and just didn't want to do anything. <laughs> but it doesn't really matter because I have so much already. It's kind of good that I wasn't super productive during the whole pandemic because I can't even imagine how much stuff I would have. <laughs> if I had kept up that pace <laughs> especially since I wasn't doing anything to sell it like I make it and then I put it in the pile and I don't bother to list it on Etsy I have like my Etsy store is currently closed until after the, the convention but like my Etsy store has maybe 20 things on it and I've got like hundreds of things so it's kind of ridiculous I like the making it's the fun part the you know the Etsy is the work and I don't like the work <laughs> conventions however are so much fun so I love 
going to conventions. I also like vending at nightclubs. I do that on occasion. But here's another set, which you might remember. I used, used, used to sit on one of these mannequins behind me all the time. And here's another, another scale mail set. There we go. There we are. And of course, like I said, I have a whole bin full of these tops. So I have so many tops. Um, oh, for, for the men's stuff, I also make regular chain mail chains. So I do the scale mail chains, but I also do chain mail chains. So I have, I think I made six of each type of tie. It's called it's chains, ties. These are ties. <laughs> I lost my words there for a minute. But yeah, I think I have six of each type of ties. I think I made six scale ties and six regular chain mail ties. Another thing that, that I do menswear wise is I found these collapsible top hats and then I make these hat chains to put on them. And you can see this one has a pentagram and scales. And then I use some rubber rings here in the back so it's stretchy so you can get it down. As you can see the top hat is thicker at the top and then gets a little narrower. So that way you can stretch it down and then it mostly stays on. <laughs> Not that you should be hanging upside down or anything. but And of course, this was sort of a last minute thing. And I should have taken time to make a whole bunch of extra hat bands. But I didn't do that. <laughs> so I just have um, five of the hats and five bands. I think I might have a couple extra somewhere that because they also double as like just like a headband headdress sort of thing or it's the same way that I make my headband headdresses sort of thing although I don't know if the hat bands are too big for that but yeah so I might have a few extras. Just want to show you one of the other top hats. And this one has skulls going all the way around it it's like these top hats were a lucky find <laughs> now something else i make I, I learned to crochet just so i could make these <laughs> they're little gloves little you know fingerless gloves with scales <laughs> and i haven't made any of these in a while either but i had made so many that i was like don't really need more. Although I made them in colors um, intended for a different event that I wound up not going to. So I, I don't know if I made enough gothy ones. <laughs> but fortunately, pastel goth is a thing. <laughs> See, th those were metal scales. These are some holographic plastic scales I had found. And those are the short ones. I also make these longer ones. This is a combination of metal and plastic scales. Cat hair everywhere. <laughs> it's like <laughs> free cat hair with every purchase. <laughs> but yeah, I love these. These are just so much fun. And uh, yep, I learned to crochet just, just so I could crochet with scales and make these gloves. <laughs> For all there, I was making like little crochet bra tops too with like pentagrams on them and stuff. But you know, like I said, I just wasn't super creative in those two years when I had nothing but time. <laughs> and let me show you some of the other things we have here. I have a whole little thing of earrings, but it's too difficult to get out of where I've packed it. So I'm not going to show you those, but they're like chain and scale mail earrings. But these are, you guys remember when I was on the um, resin kick? These are my resin demon cat and... Um, uh, what's the the moth uh, death head moth earrings so <laughs> made a bunch of those these are chainmail dragons you can see the little dragons and they have little clips on them so you can like hang them from a purse you can wrap them around your wrist and and you yeah. know of course <laughs> you have dangly things but you could wrap it around your wrist I don't know if any of them are long enough if they're long enough you could wrap them around your neck but you can do all sorts of things with these cute little dragons those heads are extra difficult to make <laughs> I haven't quite mastered them yet uh, there are some people who do super like really impressive dragons these are cute <laughs> but there are people who do these really impressive 
chainmail and scale mail dragons. But here are some necklaces with some resin charms. You know, and all the chain mail. I won't show you every tray of necklaces because I have so many. <laughs> but yeah, I was you guys know I've been on this stone coffin kick. So here's a bunch of chainmail necklaces with stone coffins. And I absolutely love the way these have come out. I've made so many of these. I have several trays of chainmail and coffin necklaces. And of course I make bracelets. And these are ring bracelets. And I use rubber bands on these so you can slip them down over your hand. I find with ring bracelets using the rubber bands works better because you can get like a, a tighter fit which keeps it in place better. Like when you just have the clasp, it doesn't always like lay right. So that's why I use the plastic bands on the bracelets of these types of things. We have like a scale version. I believe these were made to match outfits back a long time ago when I did the fetish fashion show. So I made these bracelets to match a couple of the outfits. And these are things that I didn't didn't make. These are just I'm just selling them as kind of, you know, like add-ons, but they're stone coffin pendants and rings. Let's just show you some of these rings. So here are coffin rings. Um, it's a combination. Some of them are actual stone and some of them are just glass. Like, I believe this one would just be glass. But then like this one would be an actual stone. But yeah, these are just... Occasionally I'll add things that I don't actually make that are just basically, you know, add-ons. And same with this tray, except for these rings. These rings I did... You know, assemble. I put uh, the like these over here. They're adjustable rings that I've put various things on top of, stones and such. Uh, have <laughs> have one of the little skull cameos, and then next to it are like unisex steel rings. And I don't sell these for much. These are like ten dollar add-ons, so. The uh, coffins, I think, will be $25. And let's see what else I have. Some more various necklaces that are not uh, the uh, resin <laughs> stuff or uh, coffins. Just random chainmail necklaces. And you guys have seen these all the time. Like, I'm always either have them right behind me on the desk or sometimes I'm actually wearing them in videos. But these are my... I don't think I'm wearing anything right now. <laughs> headband headpieces scale mail headband headpieces i have these unicorns horns i only have like three of the unicorns and then i have maybe six of the cat ears and these like usually sell out so i mean i don't make a lot of them but still they do tend to sell out so they're pretty popular so cute I think I just didn't get enough uh, new headbands in time. <sighs> but I have so much stuff, guys. Like, <laughs> like, I worry that I don't have enough of some things, but I just have so much overall <laughs> that I can't, I can't keep, you know, adding stuff to it, if you know what I mean. I can't keep doing, making more stuff and adding more stuff. I'm not going to be able to display it all. It's not all going to get seen. And then I also have, there's a bin over here underneath the, where the scale metal tops are. It's full of secondhand clothing that I was going to try and get rid of dirt cheap, like $5 a piece. Um, and I'm debating whether or not I should do that. I also have a couple of bins of old lip service that don't fit me anymore that I wanted to take and set up a little rack with, you know, for like a little secondhand clothing shop thing going on. But I only have a six foot table and I'm not sure I would have room for that. I'm also not sure, like, I've got so much already, how, how much room I'm going to have left in my car to fit all that, so I'll kind of make those decisions along the way. Like, once I pack up the car, if I still have room, I might add one of the bins of clothes and the rolling rack and still give that a try. I just think that would be a great place for me to, you know, try and sell some of that old lip service and then not have to worry about, like, 
you know, Poshmark or Depop or whatever, Etsy even fees, I could, if I could just sell it in person. So, I don't know, that, that's, I guess that's everything. Um, I mean, it's not everything, but I guess that's, that's a good sampling of the stuff that I'm taking, give you an idea of what I sell. Uh, let me know what you think of all this down in the comments below. Um, and are any of you going to be at Dark Side of the Con? <laughs> If you are, definitely come find me. Uh, Dilia LaFay's offerings. Uh, be easy to find because I'll have that rack filled with scale mail tops. And there, I think there's maybe one other person who does chain mail jewelry is going to be there. But I don't know if they also do the tops. I mean, there's a lot of us. Like, <laughs> every time I go to a convention, people are like, I, usually they'll, they'll only, like conventions will only book one or two chain mailers. And people will always tell me like, oh, you're... That stuff is so unique and hard to find. And, and since I surround myself with chain and scale mailers, like half of my Instagram are chain and scale mailers, I'm like, but everybody makes chain and scale mail. <laughs> and there are some amazing, amazing chain and scale mail artists that are just so incredibly inspiring. And I, they make me really want to put more effort into what I'm doing. <laughs> but I just, I've just been, I don't know how I've been so burnt out those past two years. Well, I guess I was, I was recovering from that stupid relationship and, you know, and the pandemic and isolation. And I'm just slightly disappointed in myself that I didn't make good use of all that time. But what can you do, right? Anyway, <laughs> I've got nothing but time, I guess, in the future to, to, you know, work on it and, and up my game a little bit. I like, I like the stuff that I make, but, you know, I've just been so inspired by some of the more ambitious projects that uh, people I follow make. So, so one day I'm hoping to get into something a little more ambitious, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy my video, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy the video, feel free to give it a thumbs down and please tell us all about it in the comments below. And please subscribe to the channel. And I hope everyone is just staying happy, healthy, and safe in this incredibly crazy world we're living in. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.